Meet our next speakers, Jim Smahill and Grace Walker from Checkout.com. Learn more why Checkout is a great company to work at. Hi, Grace. Hi. Hi, Jeeves. How are you doing? How are you doing? All good. You? Super excited to have you here today with us. Perfect. Can you see my screen here? Yes, absolutely. We can see your screen and... Awesome. Yeah. We can get started. I will leave the stage to you and I will come back and we'll take some questions from the audience. Does that sound good? Yes, that's perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy. Fab. So, so great. So delighted to be able to speak to you guys today and have the opportunity for us to share kind of a bit more about what we're up to here at checkout.com um, and who we are. Um, so if you guys haven't used this platform before, uh, you might see mine and Grace's faces really big compared to the slides. Um, so go ahead and click on the slides because um, I can assure you they're a lot more interesting than our faces for sure. Um, so before we delve into all the really fun stuff, um, I'll just quickly introduce myself. I'm Jeeves Marhill um, and I have the pleasure of looking after our marketing and commercial recruitment here at checkout.com. Before I joined Checkout, I actually started my career in commercial banking at one of the world's largest banks. Um, and that was followed by a few years of fantastic experience building a startup in the recruitment space, where we built um, the teams for some of the fastest te growing tech companies, primarily fintech um, around the world. So what really drew me to Checkout.com um, was this deep interest that I've always had in the development of people and my belief that it's really about establishing and maintaining core solid company values and a culture of diversity that will be the, the kind of fundamental pillars of the prolonged growth and success of any business like Checkout.com. And that's something we really see running through the veins of everything in our organization, um, which makes it such a fantastic place to work. So ho hopefully we can get that across to you in our presentation today. It's really about the empowerment of our workforce, of our people. Um, and that's really important to us as we're, we're growing our rapidly growing team, as you'll soon find out. So my fantastic colleague here, Grace Walker, she's one of our senior software engineers. Um, and at the end, you'll have the opportunity to ask Grace a bit more about what it's like to be an engineer here at checkout.com. And any burning questions that you might have for us, please don't hesitate at the end of the presentation to share that in the comment section. And we will endeavor to um, answer as many things as we possibly can. So a quick agenda here. I'll start off with our story, um, where we've come from, where we're at now, and where we're going, what we actually do, the service that we provide for our merchants, what makes us different, what makes us stand out from uh, the others, give us the competitive advantage over our competitors, and also, um, perhaps most importantly, what makes us different in terms of a place to work. And then I'd love to delve into who we are. You know, Once we strip away what we do on a day-to-day -day basis, who really are we at our core? What drives us? What motivates us? What are our values and key principles? And most excitingly, what's next? And hopefully, I mean, the purpose of this, um, this session really is to share with you guys what we're up to, what a fantastic place it is to work. And hopefully, you know, um, share some of the opportunities that we have available with this fantastic um, group of women in tech and see how you can perhaps join us for the ride. Um, and then the question and answer, which I just mentioned. So our story, who really are we? Here at Checkout.com, we are on a mission to create the future of banking through connected payments. Now, I know that sounds like a pretty huge statement, um, but hopefully throughout this presentation, you'll get an understanding of how we really are working day to day with this mission in mind and towards this vision. Um, it's really about changing the way that our merchants, so um, enterprise businesses, interact with and access financial services around the world. So our story really begins in Mauritius. So we still have our office there. It was actually our first office. Um, yeah, as I said, still have an office out there. It's our second largest um, after our London headquarters. Now in Africa, um, there's an opportunity there. It's a real kind of innovation hub in the digital and payment space, as it hasn't been hindered as so many other regions have by legacy technology. Um, the infrastructure there. It's really given the market the freedom and the opportunity to design and um, develop financial services and products um, and institutions with the end customer in mind. Sorry. Um, so 
you know, what we have there is mobile payments, for example, um, have really been able to firmly establish themselves as the foundations of financial inclusion in the region, which is something that's super important to us here at checkout.com. Um, and so it's been a real opportunity for us. Now, since then, we have scaled across six different um, continents around the world with 13 different locations um, and new locations popping up every couple of weeks, it seems to feel. So definitely watch this space. You can get an idea there of kind of our global reach. So this gives you a very kind of um, quick snapshot of what we've been up to over the last eight years. So you can see there launched in 2012. Now, just a year after we launched, we signed um, American Express, Express, sorry, Global Acquiring. Uh, in 2017, we expanded into the USA, uh, followed shortly by our expansion into the APAC region. So we became live in Hong Kong, Singapore and Australia in 2018. Um, and just last year, we raised a whopping 230 million USD in our Series A round of fundraising. Um, so that was the largest ever Series A in Europe and the third largest ever, I believe, globally. So um, in true checkout.com style, where nothing is done in halves, um, that was a huge win for us and a very exciting time. Now, at the beginning of this year, we acquired our first startup, the French e-commerce payments company Process Out. And just around two weeks ago, um, we actually announced our second acquisition, this time slightly further afield from our London headquarters in Australia. And that's the acquisition of the Australian payments company, Pin Payments. And we're just really getting started. So um, in April of this year, we joined Facebook's Libra Association. So this is a, a simple global payment system and financial infrastructure that is going to empower and enable billions of unbanked people around the world to access the digital economy. And that's through harnessing the power of blockchain technology for the greater good. So the mission of the Libra project really is to enable these um, billions of unbanked people around the world um, to increase financial inclusion. Um, and that, as I said, you know, something we really strive for here at checkout.com and really kind of aligns with our values. Um, so very excited about this partnership as well. And the roadmap for the rest of 2020 and beyond promises lots of very exciting um, new adventures. You're probably already getting, you know, from slide three, a, um, an idea of how busy we've been here. And we're always kind of pushing forward. And none of this would have been possible without our people. So at the beginning of last year only, we were around 300 people across all of our different locations. And as of the 1st of June this, um, this year, 1st of June 2020, we are now around 700 people around the world. Um, so phenomenal, very tremendous growth there. Um, and, you know, I hasten to add that we are continuing to grow. So I will keep plugging throughout this presentation. You'll be bored of it by the end. Um, our careers page and our LinkedIn. Um, we just have such a huge range of opportunities out there across all of our different functions um, and all of our different locations. So a lot of product and engineering opportunities and all the way to operations, commercial. So um, I'll keep mentioning that as we go through. So this is a quote from our founder and CEO, Guillaume Poussaz. He says here, don't take no for an answer. What is important is to keep going in the right direction. Now, I really love this quote personally from Guillaume because I think it really represents who we are as a business. Um, we are always pushing forward, um, always kind of have our eyes collectively on our vision and our mission, have at the forefront of our brains, you know, why we're doing what we're doing and what we're trying to achieve. Now, I think, you know, in any story, especially if you're driving for change, it's inevitable that you're going to come across um, obstacles, hurdles in your way. And it's really how you work through and overcome these challenges um, that defines you as an individual, uh, as a team, and then, you know, in a more uh, wider context as a business. Now, Guillaume was actually on Sky News um, a couple of weeks ago, talking about how in the light, in light of the current uncertain climate that we unfortunately all find ourselves on a global level, um, we at Checkout.com have actually, since March, onboarded virtually over 140 new starters. Um, I'm sure all of you can appreciate um, onboarding such a high volume of new employees is an, an interesting and exciting challenge at the best of times, but having to very quickly adapt to doing all of that um, onboarding virtually across all of our different locations is something that we're very proud of. Um, and I think it speaks volumes for who we are as a business um, and the fact that we really strive to thrive, as it were, um, in the face of adversity. So what do we actually do? 
So at checkout.com, uh, we enable our clients, so that's enterprise businesses, to accept more payments from their customers around the world, regardless of their geography, through one single integration, uh, API integration. So through this one single API integration, uh, we empower our clients, our merchants, to do global business without any hassle. So we offer a unified payment solution. Now let's have a quick look here at the payment flow. I hope that it makes it very clear for you. If you have any questions, I'm really happy to answer them at the end of the presentation, but hopefully it will become clear. Um, so this is the payment flow, the flow of information and of money. Um, this blue rectangle in the middle, that represents as of now, um, the parts of the flow that checkout.com actually manages. Um, and hopefully that will give you an idea of the end-to-end -end solution that we provide to our clients, which really um, sets us apart within the industry. So on the left-hand side here, you've got, it says merchant. So that is when a customer will go onto a merchant's website and input their card details. So I'm sure we're all very familiar with online shopping, especially in the current climate. Um, so, you know, the customer will put their card details there. And then what happens is those card details get sent over to the payment gateway. Now, in this case, that will be checkout.com. So we, as the payment gateway, will send um, the card details and all of the transaction information over to the acquirer. Now, bear with me with all the terms. Hopefully, it will become clear. So the acquirer is the financial institution that acquires the funds on behalf of the merchant from the issuer. So you can see the issuer on the right-hand side here. It says issuer. Um, that's the financial institution that issues the bank to the customer. So in the UK, for example, an issuing bank could be NatWest, HSBC. So the acquirer acquires the funds from the issuer. Now, at this stage in the process, in the payment flow, the acquirer will send the card details through the payment processor that acts as the link between the acquirer and the card schemes. So you can see here it says card networks. So um, the most famous card schemes are MasterCard, Visa, I'm sure we're all familiar with them. Um, the request then goes all the way through to the issuer. The issuers will say, yep, um, the funds are ready to be released um, from the customer's bank account. They're available and ready to be released. We'll send this information all the way back to the left, to the merchant, um, say the funds are ready to be released and that they can go ahead and release their goods and services to the customer. So as I said, we provide a single platform um, and that's our solution for our merchants. Payments are complicated, um, but they don't need to be that way for our merchants. You know, they don't need to be worrying about how they actually receive the funds for the goods and services they're providing. They need to be worrying about growing their own business. And we worry about the payments and take all of that hassle out of it for them. So this just shows a couple of the challenges that merchants might face. So, for example, it speaks of the complexity and disruptiveness of in multiple integrations, the length of time it takes. And we really eradicate all of these problems by offering this unified um, solution of one integration and really take all of that hassle out of it for them. So here is a little snapshot of some of the global brands that we work with. That we power their payments for them. So we've got their TransferWise, one of our fintech merchants. We've got Deliveroo, for those of you that um, aren't familiar with it, an online food delivery service. We've got Adidas. I'm sure that needs no explanation for anybody. Um, you'll see here, you'll notice you know, how differentiated our client base really is. And this gives you a little insight into kind of the different local payment methods that there are around the world. Now, as at checkout.com, it's key that we enable our merchants to accept as many, accept more and more payments from all of their customers, regardless of geography. So um, I won't go into all of it here, but th this just gives you an idea of kind of our global reach. Um, we really are able to service merchants in all corners of the world and for them to accept um, those payments more easily from their customers, regardless of where they are. So from the international card providers, um, such as Visa and, and American Express, to the digital wallets and platforms such as Apple Pay and WeChat Pay, we integrate with as many of these local um, payment methods as possible to take the hassle out of payments again for our merchants. So I won't go into all of them because it would take a long time, but just to give you an idea of our, our global scope again, we've got Boleto there in Brazil, we have SOFOR in Germany, we've got ACH Payments, which is a direct debit equivalent um, in the USA. We've got Mala in Saudi Arabia, Multibanco in Portugal. I've got Klarna, which is particularly um, popular with the younger demographic, especially in the retail space right now. And we've got loads more there as well. You can see PayPal um, tends to operate pretty much anywhere, um, but that just gives you a bit of an idea of um, 
who we work with. And also, you know, the roadmap for checkout.com is obviously to integrate with even more and more of these local payment systems to enhance our service even further. So what makes us different? Now, this is something that is of particular interest and importance to us. Um, not only what makes us different and gives us a competitive advantage over our um, competitors, what makes merchants choose us over our competitors, but also what makes us different as a place to work, what makes us such a fantastic place to work, which we really believe we are, and which makes our jobs in the people acquisition team a little bit easier, um, because it really is <laughs> such a fantastic environment to grow and develop your career in. So firstly, we're fast. From a merchant perspective, um, we're faster than our competitors. If you think back to the payment flow, um, because we own the, uh, the gateway, the acquiring and the processing channels all under one roof, this means that we have to make fewer API calls and that we have to send messages to fewer third parties. So this, you know, as a result, speeds up the entire uh, processing um, process, I guess. Um, and that's obviously a huge win for our merchants. Um, and it's pretty straightforward from our end as well. So that that end to end solution really kind of gives us a um, gives us the competitive edge. So one of our colleagues here has said, we can move fast and tackle big merchant problems because we are nimble and have the technical understanding of what it takes. Now, we are first and foremost a technology company um, we've been known to say we're tech fin instead of fintech um, and that really kind of is runs through the veins of the business so we're no longer a startup um, as we've just spoken about we're 700 people we're very much a large scale up at this point but we still have the ability to be agile and adapt um, and to really get to the crux of each individual merchant's needs and then come up with creative solutions for each individual um, merchant and really get, make kind of tailor-made bespoke solutions for them. Now, this is really exciting for our engineering teams because it allows for a lot of innovative and creative thinking, um, which perhaps, you know, other competitors may have to take more of a rigid approach. Um, and this kind of um, out-of-the-box thinking and creativity and entrepreneurial mindset is something that we really encourage at all levels um, of the organization for all of our employees. We are reliable. Who isn't looking for a bit of reliability? Um, so because we don't require API or um, platform layering, this reduces our technical fail points. Now, what's really key for us here is that we don't rely on third parties, for example, to um, process our payments, which makes a more streamlined process, um, allows us to really manage and control the whole process. And this is obviously a huge win for our merchants again. Uh, one of our colleagues here has said, I'm fortunate to have very collaborative colleagues. Implementing processes can happen well here. Now, I think this really speaks about our collaborative way of working, not only across our different locations, um, but across all functions of the business as well. We really have the safety and knowledge that we can rely on and count on our colleagues. We're all working towards one vision as one team. Um, and this really uh, ties into our values as well, one of which is Unite, which I will go into more details about um, in a little bit. We are adaptable. So uh, we're responsive to industry initiatives and regulatory change, which we have to be. Um, so for example, if one of the card schemes such as MasterCard was to release a new service that is going to make merchants' lives easier, we can very easily and quickly, sorry, um, integrate this new service into checkout.com's tech stack. Um, and that is something you know we can do very quickly for merchants to use. So it's important that we kind of stay ahead of the curve with these things. Now, one of our teammates here has said, we're about optimization and customization and really creating a solution that fits individual merchant needs that they can then add on to gain more out of their payment stack. Now, that, this goes back a little bit to what I was just saying a moment ago about us being able to come up with um, tailor-made bespoke solutions for our merchants and not have such a rigid approach, which is fantastic. Um, it allows for a lot of creativity here, working here. Um, but also as an employer, you know, I mentioned that we were very adaptable. Um, we adapted very quickly in terms of our virtual onboarding. We always try and kind of stay ahead of the curve and be best in class in terms of the support that we're providing for our teams worldwide. Um, over the last few months, you know, we've moved very quickly with many different initiatives to try and make the team feel as supported as possible. Regardless of what is happening externally, we will always adapt to um, maintain that kind of safety and support within the business. I'll touch on a few more of the initiatives a little bit later as well. So here we have a case study, um, a quote from one of our merchants, so TransferGo, one of our fintech merchants. This is in terms of um, he's talking about our adaptability as well. So um, their head of operations, Tomas, here says, 
Checkout.com is continuously adding new features to make its product better, always looking to optimize existing components whilst enabling new currencies and payment methods. Now, our fintech uh, merchants in particular love the fact that we can add new currencies very quickly. Um, and as of now, we are processing around 100, over 150 currencies worldwide. So why checkout.com? Um, I've obviously gone over a few of the points and there's some there, but I'd just like to highlight a couple more. So um, our data access is something that really helps us to stand out from the crowd. So um, we provide a lot of transparency and visibility to our merchants. Now this is really important for merchants because it allows them to make informed data-driven decisions on how they process their payments. They are able to query data sets um, through the API and then integrate these data sets into their own platforms, their own business intelligence platforms, whether that be Looker or whatever it might be. Um, they're able to reconcile all of their payments, all of their transactions, and then really get a clear understanding of where charges are being incurred, for example, from third parties throughout the payment flow, and then make decisions based on this data. In terms of safety, um, we have a um, uh, an anti-fraud kind of uh, technology built on machine learning um, and AI, which is phenomenal. Um, and it's something that we've been very excited about um, designing and developing. Um, and last but not least, um, cost savings. So as we don't work with any intermediaries, we don't have any hidden fees here at checkout.com, which is a huge win for our merchants as we are able to pass this saving onto them. So lower costs um, equals happier merchants, which is obviously a win for us at checkout.com. In terms of our technology, everything built here at checkout.com is on .NET Core, and this tech stack makes us a .NET Core house in the UK. Our technology leadership team meets up regularly for our tech forum, um, and our technology radar is one of the things that they discuss there. So this is really built around what our um, developers are wanting to use, and this is something that evolves. Um, so green will be you know, what we are using, and amber there is what we are able to use, but developers might need to support them a bit, um, themselves a bit more on those ones. Um, and that is an evolving tech radar that we have. So who really are we um, at the core? You know, what are the principles that we live by? Um, what are the principles that really kind of drive us in, in growing our business? Our people are really the beating heart of the business. Um, in order to build great products, we must empower great people. And how do we empower them? Uh, we do this by creating and nurturing a, an environment of psychological safety where creative thinking, innovative thinking, pushing the boundaries is really encouraged in a safe space. And that's something that's really key for any business like checkout.com that is experiencing such fast growth. So <laughs> because we've had so many other quotes, I'll add another one here. Everything is always a team effort, which is great. I can always raise my voice. And if I'm facing any blockers, I'm free to bring those up. So our values are really what drive us here. Um, they're really kind of our, our pillars at uh, checkout.com. That's Aspire, Excel, and Unite. So Aspire speaks to kind of our, our belief that anything can be built. We are entrepreneurs at heart. We have creative minds and we're curious. You know, we're always questioning the status quo and we won't ever stop being curious as we grow. And this is really important to us. Excel, we go above and beyond for our team, for our business, our colleagues, for ourselves. Uh, we are determined. We're uncompromising on quality. So, yeah, we are um, experiencing tremendous growth. There's high pressure. Everything's always moving forward, but we will be unwavering in our quality. And that's a promise. Um, and we're pragmatic. We are driven by outcome, not output. And unite. We are greater together. We are one team working towards the same goals, the same vision. Uh, we're inclusive. Our differences make us stronger. Um, we really... Um, nurture our culture of diversity in everything that we do and we are reliable so in the great words of aristotle actually our ceo reminded us of this this um us of this a few weeks ago the whole is greater than the sum of its parts um and that is something that is really key and important for us to keep at the forefront of our minds as we grow as a business so there are always lots of fantastic initiatives happening across the business and also at a more micro level within teams. Um, so we're always trying to do things to, to show, you know, how important it is for us to get involved um, with culture and diversity. Um, and for example, us sponsoring this particular event that we're speaking at now is one of those initiatives. You know, it's a fantastic opportunity for us to connect with some of the best talent around the world, um, some of the 
best women in tech around the world. So we're really happy to have this opportunity. Um, another initiative, an example is at the beginning of lockdown globally, um, a few months ago, we very quickly pulled together a team um, of, of colleagues from different teams um, to put together a wellness program, which has created content and support across all of our locations for all of our employees in this rather uncertain time. And it's received rave reviews. Um, and it's something that we're, we're very happy about. And it's very important to us. Um, we also have communities at checkout.com. Um, there's parents at checkout.com, pets at checkout.com, which is always a very popular one. Um, but one that's really close to my heart is women at checkout. Um, we are looking at initiatives such as mentorship um, that we want to develop. And this is all about women supporting women. Um, and it is very important to us. So in terms of our team, I think what really speaks volumes is the fact that, you know, even when we were a relatively small company um, a year or two ago, our people team has always been pretty substantial and significant. Um, so you really have someone dedicated to your um, happiness, your safety, um, your career development and growth at every single stage of your career here at checkout.com from your very first kind of interaction with us with our people acquisition team and I think that this is something that you don't always find in other businesses um, I personally have never worked at a company that puts such a focus and such importance on their people um, and that really shows in everything that we do and everything that it means to be an employee here at checkout.com so one last quote I promise um I can't think of a time when I've asked someone I don't know for help and they've said no and I think that's really the crux of it you know we're all very ambitious busy um but there's never a time when someone isn't happy to share their knowledge and to help a colleague out because in the end we are one team it's all about that unite um value um and this is something that I can really vouch for as well having worked it for a while so what's next? Hopefully you've uh, enjoyed a little bit about what you've um, seen here today. Um, as I said, you know, there's so many opportunities. I think right now um, and over the next couple of months, we've got something like 150 opportunities available across all of our different locations to really get involved and join us for this exciting ride. Um, so as I said, those opportunities are across our engineering teams, products, technology, um, finance, legal, operations, marketing, commercial, everywhere so there really is something for everyone so I really would urge you to check out our careers page um, we also alternatively you can go on LinkedIn you can reach out to any of us we're always very happy to hear from great talent um, check out our glass door uh, the reviews don't lie we're very happy with our rating there and often um, gets mentioned to me um, by candidates that I speak to um, so please go and check us out up, check us out there and um, you can always also find us on Twitter and on Facebook so we really look forward to hearing from as many of you as possible and that is all from me right now um, I actually would like to start off the question section um, by asking Grace a couple of questions and then we'll go into the comment section and we'll answer a few of your questions there as well so Grace are you there yep can you hear me Yes, I can. Can you hear me? Yes, I've been listening eagerly. <laughs> so a quick question for you, Grace. Why do you enjoy being an engineer, if you do enjoy it, at checkout.com? Um, yeah, by the way, thanks so much for that. I think you taught me a thing or two about checkout.com in that. That was great. Um, yeah, so I knew I'd be asked this question, and I actually struggled a little bit to keep it concise. Uh, if that's the right word. Um, so I love being an engineer at checkout.com. And actually, um, I tiny, very short background. Um, I actually used to lead the fintech team for one of our merchants um, who use checkout.com. Uh, and I was like, no, I need more. So like more payments, I need more of it. So that's why I actually ended up here. Um, and also very recently, I internally transferred to another team um which for me is kind of massive because I've only been in the company really a year but I feel like I've now just started another job uh, and I remember I actually went to um, one of the people team and I said to him look you know I don't really want to work on this product anymore can I move internally um and he was so supportive um, and I was really um you know nurtured through the whole process and we worked really really um, intensely to find the team within checkout that I could work at and I'd be happy with. And I think that says it all, because I remember I went to him and I was like, look, 
usually I might have like left the company by now. I've been known to job hop. <laughs> um, and I said, but I absolutely do not want to leave checkout. Um, I want to work here still. I just don't want to work on this product. Um, and I think that was key. Um, that's kind of said it all. I've never done that at a job. Usually I would just leave uh, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, so while that doesn't really cover your question, I think it highlights how great it is to be an engineer here. Um, I feel like every day is completely different. You don't just work on the same product. And I think you covered it really well, Jeeves. Um, we are fast, <laughs> uh, really fast. Um, so one week you'll be working on one thing and the next week um, that'll be completely done and dusted and you'll be on to something completely new. Um, so I feel like there's not no time to get bored at all. Um, uh, and also the people are amazing and you are completely correct in saying that we are one team. Um, I have never found a person that has refused to help me so far. Um, and I am quite collaborative with a lot of the other teams. Um, there's actually probably like eight or nine of us working at Checkout now from my old company, which again highlights how great it is. I've had a couple of friends come to me and say, look, I need a new job. And within two weeks, they are my colleague at Checkout. So I, th I think that's a little bit rambly. But like I said, I actually struggle to um, sum it up um because there's just so many great things about being an engineer at checkout no I think um, I think that's amazing Grace and what you touched on there as well you know we get so many referrals which obviously makes our job great as well and very very easy but it's when someone who's working here can really be an advocate and refer you know to their friends and family outside of the business and bring them in as well I think that speaks volumes because it's the best yeah I was actually speaking to someone the other day and he's referred nine people nine yeah. that's madness um i've only referred to but um within our little inner circle there's lots of referrals going on and i think that speaks volumes actually because i've worked for a couple of companies in the past and i've had people come to me and i was like you know what you don't want to work here <laughs> perfect thank you so much grace um anna i'm not sure if you want to um pick out some of the questions for grace from the from the comment section Hey, hey. Um, yeah, there, were, there was a question maybe to you, Jeeves, and there was a question, are there open positions for web developer? Yes, there are. So if you please go on to the careers page, I can also share this, or Anna, you can as well. Um, we have, and, and if there isn't a specific role, um, specific web developer role that is suitable at this time in terms of seniority or whatever, mm -hmm. please kind of keep an eye on that because new roles are coming out, honestly, on a daily, weekly basis. I would also, sorry that's not for me but I'll also highlight on that um I think that we're quite accommodating um mm -hmm. I've had a couple of people that are interested but haven't found the exact role um but they still work at checkout yeah. <laughs> um the right person I think we are that that's kind of key that's um, a really sorry, sorry to interrupt on um, do you have remote positions available Nupur is asking um, I guess this depends on the location. It's always worth having the conversation because for the best talent, you know, is is worth. We're very flexible in terms of our approach to most things. Um, we do obviously try to nurture our offices. Um, we're growing our offices, you know, across the world. So that's important for us in our small teams. Um, but always worth having the conversation for those remote remote working right, opportunities. Sounds good. How do you ensure product quality when it is so fast paced? Working on the current projects every week on different projects every week i assume that's that one's probably for me um yeah. you know what there are a lot of us <laughs> so <laughs> it's fast but we have a lot of developers and um everyone's actually quite senior um and if they're not senior they're just really good so uh, quality is something that's kind of key for me i come from an extreme programming background um to anyone that knows that it's as extreme as the title says um as a quality is key and I've not come across anything where I thought oh this is a bit this is a bit crap um sorry <laughs> um it's everything's great it's a high standards um I don't know how we do it but we do it all right um thanks that sounds good um here is a question from Riona do you sponsor visas and take in, in candidates from outside the UK 
So this is an interesting question. Um, as I said, for us, it's about speaking to the best talent out there. And we are as accommodating as we possibly can be. So it's really on a case by case basis, seeing what the opportunities are there and what the possibility is. So um, th this would really be, you know, always approach us. We'll have the conversation. We'll see what we can do there. Right. Um, do you have data science roles often? Yes, we do. Yep. So there's a huge list of roles open. Um, so please do check out, as I said, again, I'll keep plugging. Go to our LinkedIn, uh, go to our careers page. Great. Yes, so, check out. I see what so you, you are, You're the best person to, to get in touch with, right? Juice. Yes, myself. And, and then I can always pass you on to the relevant um, colleague there as well. Okay. Okay. Sounds good. Um, there are so many repetitive questions on, on the same matters like with a sponsorship. Um, mm -mm -mm. So how are the responsibilities spread out amongst the international offices that you have? That's a good question. So our headquarters is in London. Um, and then we have obviously so many new offices uh, springing up all the time. Grace can probably vouch for me on that one. Um, so we have, for example, our office in North America is in San Francisco right now. That's a, a primarily a commercial office. And um, then we have mm -hmm. other offices, you know, we might have more developers in certain offices um, around the world. So if you go on to different locations on our careers page, you'll really be able to see which types of opportunities are there. And that will give you an idea of which functions we're growing out in each of our different locations there as well. Mm -hmm. uh, here's a question from Chin. What is the technical stack that your data team is currently using? Um, so the data team specifically, um, we're quite, I mean, um, so Jeeve showed us, uh, showed you the tech radar earlier. Um, we are quite open to new tech stacks. Um, so some of the legacy things are using MS SQL, um, but the newer teams, like my current team, we don't touch that. We are all in for like DynamoDB. Um, we also use like Elasticsearch. Um, so there are lots of options, but we kind of stick to the um, quite regular um, .NET data um, stack. Nothing crazy going on there. <laughs> Thank you, Grace. Um, here's another question. Interview procedure for checkout. How does it look like? Do you focus more on competitive programming? Oh, sorry. Sorry, you cut out. What is the process? Uh, what is the interview process if someone wants to, you know, get hired by checkout.com? Oh, perfect. Sorry. Um, you cut out a little bit there. Um, yeah, so in terms of our interview process, one thing that I would say as as Grace actually just touched on a second ago, um, she's referred someone and then a couple of weeks later they're at checkout.com. Um, we're always kind of moving things. If we get the right candidate, we're moving very quickly with that. You will speak with our people acquisition team um, firstly, and then we will quickly move you through the process. That will be with the hiring manager. Now for our engineering and tech teams, we have a test um, that all people will be quite used to, I think. It's pretty standard test. Um, and that really just kind of uh, makes sure that we don't waste anyone's time going through the process and that candidates mm -hmm. have the most slick and streamlined um, experience possible. Um, and I think any candidate that's passed through our process can vouch for the fact that we really do move that along very quickly um, and we're as efficient as possible in that. We won't have too many pro, um, stages, um, just the really key stakeholders that need to be involved in each hire. Right. Yeah, I've actually been through that process um, and I can vouch for um, it. it. It's Tech interviews are horrifically scary. Um, however, the checkout one is very much more of a conversation. So there is a test and there is um, like the whiteboarding exercise, um, but you don't really feel like you've been grilled. Yeah, it's not that scary. It is it is very much a conversation, almost like you're trying to find your compatible world too. It's not like all eyes on you. Yeah, sounds good. Um, people are asking if you can share, please, your emails and LinkedIn so they can get in touch with them. You can do that in our chat just right after your session. Okay. So please share it with our audience. They're super excited to and super interested to explore the opportunities that checkout.com is offering. Please also go to Korea Expert and check out the checkout.com <laughs> career booth. And you can also write the messages and, and ask the questions, more questions that you have. We'll also rejoin later. Juice, Grace, thank you very much for this interesting presentation, for this interesting conversation that we had with you. I'm wishing you a great day and uh, stay with us. Uh, and like, people would like to get in touch with you. Perfect. Thank you so much, Anna, for putting this amazing event together as well. Thank Thanks, you, guys. Thank you. Cheers. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.